Greetings, greetings, greetings. Welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays. This is Lisa. How are you? How is this beautiful Tuesday for you? Well, I was uh, thinking about uh, uh, what is going on in life right now and then just tapping inside my heart of what is it that we wanted to talk about. And then Facebook popped this beautiful memory from a year ago about surrendering and letting go. And I thought, wow, we're gonna be talking about surrender, letting go and manifesting, but how we do all this. So welcome for uh, being here, greetings, and uh, thank you for showing up. This is Lisa Bubari, and for those of you who do not know me, uh, by trade, I am a clinical hypnotherapist, stress management, and domestic abuse consultant. I have a healing center in Glendale, California called Heal Within. So, hi, thank you for joining in. How many of you truly have gone through um, thinking or hearing all those uh, words about affirmations and manifestations. So how can we manifest things in our life? Um, like manifesting uh, or creating something. And if you use affirmations day in and day out, it's got to work out. So today I'm here to talk about that manifestation in itself is like saying, I'm sitting here and praying for this beautiful, uh, handsome guy to show up. I manifest this, I create this and visualize whatever it is that I want to create, either a relationship or success in my life. And every single day I do the affirmations. So, here is one of the things that I want to share with you. It's talking about how our mind really works. Because we easily forget that we are in control of our life and we are in control of our mind. And that we're also, although there are outside influences, it is created by our internal belief system. So what we believe from the inside is what we create into the outside. So many people say, well, this person was born under a lucky star. And there are people who say, no, we create luck, right? So how do you do it? by learning a deeper state of understanding our subconscious mind and our conscious mind, it's how we create the reality and with uh, precision. So to do this, there are states of consciousness that I wanna talk about. One, uh, there are five states of consciousness in our mind. One is the beta state which is the waking consciousness and the reasoning wave. So the beta brain is associated with this normal waking hours that we are functioning normally, consciously, looking, listening, learning, everything, right? We are alert, we're logical, we have this critical reasoning happening and it's important because this state is effective and it's functioning throughout the day and it translates to stress and anxiety and restlessness as we go around thinking, analyzing and judging. It's that nagging little inner critic inside us. So after this level of 
logic and alertness, there is another state called the alpha state. The alpha state is one layer deeper relaxation wave. So it's present when we do a deep state of relaxation and the eyes are closed. We're either praying, we are either mindful, we do self-hypnosis, we do yoga, or we are just sitting still and allowing things to fall into place. It's that daydream state. You know, there's a, a beautiful word in Farsi, it's called khopkhargushi. So it's like, you know, how bunnies just sit there and they go to this very light state of as if they are asleep, but they're constantly alert and awake. And yet they're deeply in a state of relaxation. So it's that optimum time to program the mind for any change that we want for success. And it heightens this state of alpha state is where we heighten our imagination, our creativity, and that's the essence of the moment of manifesting, visualizing, and incorporating what it is that we want to create, to feel, and then to incorporate. Okay. It's the gateway between the conscious and the subconscious mind, where when we do hypnosis, we guide we don't take, we guide our clients into that state. So, does that make sense so far? Right? And uh, I just wanted to know, hi, Adora, how are you? Arda, Iris, I just want to acknowledge all of you for being here. So, so far, we have had the beta state and then the alpha state. When we are focused on, let's say, a, a movie and we are so concentrated or we're reading a book, sometimes we drift into that alpha state without realizing it. So that's what we do. When someone talks about hypnosis and experiencing hypnosis, I like to talk about it is and explaining the state of deep relaxation, that you can hear everything that I say, and yet you, as a client, delve into that beautiful state. Listening to music, being immersed in an incredible music that touches your heart, even if it doesn't touch your heart, and you become one with the music with headphones, you may drop into that state of um, right the alpha state so underneath that comes the theta the light meditation the meditation sleep wave that we go into snooze and sleep so it's present during the meditation and light sleep it's the right before we go in drift into that deep sleep is where we go into theta. I think I'm saying this right. It's that REM dream state. And that said, a deep spiritual connection, the unity that we have with sleep, dreaming, uh, with universe and everything else. Underneath that is when we are in deep sleep, which is the delta that nothing uh, matters you are in the realm of unconscious mind and the gateway as we call it from reality to dream and of course there is the gamma which is the insight wave which is the 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 the, the ultimate place to be which not many people uh, get to why am i saying all this because when we want to when we want to 
recognize something, our blocks, um, hesitations, uh, self-sabotaging behaviors, everything happens from that uh, theta state, which is from the day we are born until six years old. In that state is also the deepest level that children are like sponges and we take everything in. We mimic our parents and we look, listen and learn without having the cognitive um, understanding of how to respond. So that's why children are just amazing of incorporating behaviors, taking behaviors, even taking in fears and words that are being spoken in the house. So if there is a format and a, uh, a thought process of, if there is fear happening in the house, the child starts feeling fear. If there is discipline, then the child is also feeling the discipline or they are being disciplined. If there is money issues, then the child is incorporating those fear aspects of uh, success, money issues. Maybe the father is talking, like my father used to say, um, for what and for whom. That means if you've got enough, that's good enough. You don't need more because uh, the more you have, the more problems you have. So that is an upbringing that a child comes to hear and believe in their beginning of, uh, beginning of life, of understanding and incorporating that part. So far with me? Now, if the same thing is about food, if the same thing is about our body image or relationships, uh, the relationships of what they see between mother and daughter, uh, mother and father, the lovingness or the arguments. So this child begins to incorporate. Now, if something goes weary, and that's what their programming is, you know, that deepest level of the programming, then no matter what we do, as we grow older, we have that deep-rooted programming inside. So here's my question to you. Have you tried to manifest something, visualize something, create something in your adult life that you recognize no matter what you do, you take two steps forward, one step back? This is not a country dance, but it's like two-stepping, right? And I'm not saying as a joke, but it's like, no matter how hard we try, we go forward, forward, forward. We want to be the success or we want to have that perfect body. We want whatever it is, we want to manifest it and we do. But something goes haywire and we revert back. That revert back is reverting back to the belief system of that child that was established from zero to six. And if it's a body image, it's as if, I don't know, whatever I do, I just can't seem to keep my body weight at this ideal weight that I want. So no matter what a client does, they feel as if it's a self-sabotage and they get to resent themselves, they get angrier with themselves. They also feel as if they have failed or the programs are failing, the exercise is failing, and then what happens? They just give up. Okay, that's it. So here is what I am going to say. It's not about giving up. It's about surrendering and letting go and tapping to your core true self. 
So in a way, what we do with hypnosis, what we do with mindfulness is guide you to drop into that state of allowing yourself to know what was your original programming into that subconscious mind, which is that little chip in that computer, in our mind's computer, in our heart's computer, in our core computer, that little chip that was the original programming that everything else has been edited, edited, I mean added and added versus going in and editing the original programming. So, we are not here to delete anything about our ancestry, our heritage, our family, upbringing, nothing. We just accept it. So, what I just said is evoking all that was and coming to embrace and say, ah, now I am recognizing I, light bulb goes on, recognizing the child's programming, the child within, and embracing the child within. So the child within knows it's not my fault. Now I get it. Once we come to embrace this, that's when we can say, okay, I can't let that go. I can't let that programming of, I can't change my body image. I can't change the money aspect and I can earn money. I deserve it as much as anybody else in this world. The more I have, the more I can give, the more I can flourish, the more I can share, the more I can be of service. See, instead of turning it into negative, we turn, we find the best part of that. So we find the rewards in the things we want to do. And that is the beauty of the work that I do with my clients. It's letting go of the negativity and bringing on the reward because change happens when the pain is so bad that we no longer want to feel that pain. The disease is so bad that we go and we make changes, drastic changes. We have surgeries to feel good or to look good. We have diseases and we have the surgeries and to take the cyst out like mine, my beginning and how I got into this line of work. So it's all about how can we heal, let go, heal, and move forward in life. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? So it's this incredible three E work, which is the evoking, embracing, and evolving that has become my program. So that you can help yourself you can heal with it, that you can make the difference for you and embrace yourself. From body image, from behaviors. You know, a um, long time ago, I was talking to a client who was talking about smoking and then that whenever he was not, uh, she was not, yeah, it was a she, she was not smoking. She said that she used to chew gum or even um, have a lollipop. And it was so beautiful. And I said, I know, it's like this child. And here's one of the things, I know this is a little bit off key for me to talk about this, but that's exactly what it is. It's when this oral gratification comes forward. I don't know why, but I asked her, how long were you breastfed? And she said, for about two, over two years. So if this child 
is used to the connection of the pacifier or the breast and having this grat uh, oral gratification feel so good and up to three and a half four years old which is a lot of long time for someone to have a pacifier and when they took the pacifier out she used to have her thumb in her mouth so this gra oral gratification of something being in her mouth that when she was not smoking she had to have a lollipop and does that make sense so it's understanding someone's behavior and then when we take someone into that alpha state we can go in modify the behavior and edit it and then put it in archive and function with a new way that from now on every time they have this oral need to gratify the or gratification or sensation that she can easily have uh, grapes or almonds or drink water would that be okay and she was like yeah I like I, I like grapes and I said here's something better did you know by the way that if you put grapes uh, in the refrigerator better yet in the freezer and then take it out the next day and just whenever you feel need for sugar you just pop grapes in your mouth and after a few of them there is this inner gratification and it's so much better than either chewing gum or even better than smoking so that takes care of something healthy and the oral gratification goes away and it's a natural sugar of course some people if you are on insulin and if you are a diabetic stay away from grapes and that's exactly what it is recognizing that when I work with my clients I look at the whole picture so it's our behaviors from childhood and not everything is the childhood's or parents fault but it's just behaviors modifying behaviors that's all it takes so what belief system have you been holding on to and not surrendering and letting go that you are now ready to let go because you no longer need it it does not enhance your life anymore or better yet what is it that you want to create and truly manifest in your life without any blocks without any hesitation so I want you to be cognizant of all the BS's which is the belief systems and it doesn't matter if it's good or bad if it's right or wrong does that make sense say yes if you do you can send an emoji uh, especially if you are here hi mark makes sense to you awesome message there thank you mark you are one of my biggest cheerleaders i swear to god if you were anywhere in the la county i would just hug you so for now here's a big hug to you <laughs> all of you who show up i hope the seal talk tuesdays gives or sheds a little bit of a light to you for you so that it helps you in one form or another um, two days ago I got actually Sunday night I was doing my radio show on LA radio now and uh, what we were talking about I was hypnotizing well yeah hypnotizing my producer on the show Troy Rawlings oh how funny and here you are and uh, as we're having this dialogue afterwards I got a message 
and the message was, uh, how can you hypnotize someone on the air? Well, the person across from me agreed, and I did the hypnosis only for him because, and then I responded back and I said, and was there a problem? Did you feel any different? And uh, his response was, yes, I relaxed so deeply, apparently, uh, that I fell asleep for over an hour. <laughs> so, you know what? I didn't do anything. I never do anything to my clients. I just guide and they go in. So when you go into hypnosis, you're going in to hypnosis, into that alpha state. I have no control over you. I'm just a guide. So once you learn even self-hypnosis or listen to the sound of my voice. Let me say this. I have been speaking like this and now when I want to do the hypnosis, my entire voice changes and this is what it becomes. As you sit deeply, allow every nerve and every muscle in your body to relax and you can sit back and give yourself permission to relax every essence who you are, from the top of your head all the way down to the bottom of your feet. And that is how I begin. So as you see, even my voice, the tone of my voice changes. It goes into a deeper state that as it vibrates, the energy of my voice also vibrates to a level that brings my client into a deeper state of relaxation. And silence is a very good thing. Doing nothing is doing something. That's why when we dance, we go into a flow. Have you ever seen lovers dance? Nothing matters. They be emerge with each other. Their bodies melt with one another. And they are immersed, her head on his shoulder or chest. And his head is right on her chest or on the side, hands holding or hugging, and they move with the music. That's in a way going into that state of trance state, focus state, unity of oneness instead of separate, coming together as well. So, hello, Michael. Oh my God, Michael, thank you for being here. Did you know that Sunday night on my radio show, I raved about you being one of the top stage hypnotists and the magicians? <laughs> You better go and watch that show. I talked about you so much. So in closing today, I hope today's message of different levels of our mind, that as we delve deeper and deeper into that state, made sense to you. One of the most beautiful things is experience the level of hypnosis, self-hypnosis, and know that any change you want to make in your life, you can. What is it that they say? If you think you can, or if you think you can't, they are both valid. Which do you choose? So in closing, I would all of you 
ladies, to know one thing. The 3E event is happening in four weeks. It's going to be the most amazing 3E events of all the five years. My sixth annual, see, three times two, <laughs> bringing a unity. I'm sorry, I'm all about numbers. This year's 3E event is a promise guaranteed to be so amazing. Our speakers, Su Wang, not only she's the celebrity, fashion, designer, creator, I mean, it's just, talk about manifesting success from the time that she was a young girl knowing exactly what she wanted to do to Danisha Danielle who is this beauty essence of beauty and success as a director of commercial real real estate and how she came from literally absolutely nothing to be this conglomerate success woman and having four years of the Oprah uh, Oprah show that she used to do own on own TV, right? And then Marie Ambruni, beautiful soul, ah, oh, just being in the presence of Marie, you will feel the healing love that comes and oozes out of her, that she is a medical doctor, anesthesiologist, and yet a shaman and healer, all love. So, of course, I too will be speaking. Transformation, a lot of transformation, a lot of healing, a lot of che cheers and tears and hugs and dance and connections through our healing exercises that we're going to do vendors plus nourishing lunch on this day of empowering you but more importantly i've got an two more surprises that i'm not going to be revealing it now until i know for a fact that's happening and it's going to be more amazing i'm excited now because it's like, you know, that's where the manifestation is. I didn't want to reveal anything, actually. I still don't want to reveal anything until it's a yes. Yes, yes. One yes to me, one yes to the universe. So by that happening, you do not want to miss this event. So go to 3eevent.com. Number 3 e event.com actually i'll even put all the links and everything over here go sign up and be a part of the 3e event uh, on my other page which is my i'll put all the links over here go find it and see our sponsors thank you our sponsorships are coming and if you want to be a sponsor and have your name on our backdrop on uh, being promoted on social media on our website you can check our website 3eevent.com and see the sponsorship from eden magazine from la cancer network from adventist health noel halaby law offices and all the other sponsors boardwalk uh, Elizabeth Manasarian, business life magazine and so many more that are coming uh, it's just amazing. So I think, I think all the manifestation, all the manifesting that is happening now, you know why it's happening? Because now I am aligned of what we are bringing for every single participant. And it's going to happen on March 24th at the Castaways, the beautiful Castaways that looks over the mountaintops, the hilltops, the energy grounding of Mother Earth, the trees, the beauty, the surrounding. So as you come, you will be gifted. You will be welcomed to 3E. If there is any questions, if there is anything, 
come on, bring it on. Ask me anything, either right here, right now, or even when you are watching this on a replay. I just saw, hello. Hi, Michelle. Hi, Wayne. Hello. Are you in your car? <laughs> How's the weather where you are? Oh, my God. I love you. My playful prosperity tribe. So in life, we have to bring a little bit of playfulness and joy so that we can blossom like the lotus. And how does lotus work? Start it at the deepest, the darkest level of the lakes. And then when it emerges through all the debris, it releases, surrenders to the surface of the water. It opens up and blossoms to receive beauty, to receive glory, to receive love. May you blossom to be the best that you are. With that, Thank you for being a part of Heal Talk Tuesdays. Thank you for receiving this moment. Thank you for being here because without you, I would not be here. And I will go back in, put all the information, ladies, for 3E, so you can join us, so that we can come together and blossom together in unity, in one. You don't have to be alone. I want you to know that you matter. With that, God bless you. May the universal light surround you, protect you, and shield you. And Mother Earth ground you and safeguard you. Goodbye until we see each other next week.